keep going. This me. Must hate this heart. You won't even remember. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my first theory video about how the Dark Ether story could blend in with the Ether story. So let's take a jump into it. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each known and unknown universe. Starting off with Cold War, we know that campaign and zombies, all the operators being able to be played in zombies but one thing that we don't know is this the samantha from the old black opses and the ether story or is this a whole new samantha that we've never met before is edward the edward richtofen that we know just as a younger self well maybe we'll find out we've heard about max's quotes in die machine and we know that he's in the dark ether storyline so that could mean that Samantha and Richtofen are also in the Ether storyline. So what you're seeing right now is Blood of the Dead Black Ops 4 outro. As you can see, Richtofen was holding the summoning key in his hand, which means Dr. Monty sent everything with the Primus crew when he sent him to the loop. Let's check out what I mean by that. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflake shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I, I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over. Or I just wipe you from existence. Oh, hang on. Actually... That all works out perfectly. In Alpha Omega, we see our two crews plus Eddie and Sam, and they're ready to fight off the Apothecans. We also see that Maxis gets destroyed by Monty, but this isn't the same Maxis that traded spots with the Shadow Man in the Summoning Key. After the Great War is finished, they celebrate around the bonfire, but Nikolai decides to put the Summoning Key to an end, which ultimately destroys all the multiverses that were intertwined in the Ether story. Forgotten about you. It is time, Richtofen. The multiverse must come to an end. The paradox must be resolved. At least, it will be quick. Okay, summoning key's gone, so what do you think now? I mean, multiverse is gone, but you just wait. Wait for this. When we are gone, so too is everything that spewed forth from the ether. Element 115, the Apothecons, even Monty himself, all of it will be banished to where it belongs. The Dark Ether. So that's pretty crazy, huh? Uh, so to wrap it up here, I got a couple questions. You think that they're walking towards the Dark Ether? 
and then it's gonna lead into the new storyline or what because there's nothing left of that universe overall I think that Cold War is on a good path with zombies but if the Easter eggs stay as they are with no cutscenes or okay storyline I don't think it's gonna last very long but I'm looking forward to season one and hopefully a new map comes out and it's good hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you haven't yet or if you like the video like the video <laughs> subscribe leave a comment I'd like some feedback on this it's like my first commentary video uh, I also have a Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash fanweed. Go follow it if you're interested. I stream zombies, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> See you guys.